When the Mexican Air Force withdrew its historic Pilatus PC-7, a question arose regarding the future of the institution. The long-awaited replacement came from the north, when the first Beechcraft T-6C Texan II arrived in 2010, multifunctional turboprop aircraft that became a fundamental piece. More than a decade after their entry into service, the Mexican Texan IIs begin a new chapter in their history, this time as gunships with a variety of weapons ranging from missiles to machine guns. In this new military aviation video we are going to tell you all the details about that transformation and what kind of weapons were incorporated into the platform. Let's start by briefly describing the protagonists of this process, the Texan II. The T-6 is a US-made turboprop aircraft, whose first flight was in 2000, entering service the following year as a training unit. It has a length of 10.2 meters and a wingspan of identical proportions. It houses a two-person crew, and originally those places were occupied by an instructor and a student, but over time, the educational role of the T-6 mutated. The Texan II engine is based on a Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6 A68 turboprop, which generates 1,131 horsepower and allows it to reach a top speed of 586 km per hour, with a cruising speed of 515 km per hour. In terms of resistance, its range is 1,660 km, with a flight ceiling of 9,450 meters. As we anticipated, in 2017 the Mexican Air Force began an artillery program for its historic T-6C Texan II aircraft, to which machine guns and rocket launchers were added. Mexico has a weapons acquisition program for these aircraft, Initially the objective was to have 60 containers to equip its 30 Texan II aircraft, later we'll delve further into the importance of this purchase. In those years, the investment of the Mexican Air Force to equip the 30 planes with air-to-air -air and air-to-ground artillery reached $17 million. Most of the budget was allocated to containers with their respective accessories, tools, spare parts, technical documentation and training for their operation and maintenance. The intention of the Mexican Air Force was to expand the institution's air capabilities, incorporating training, reconnaissance, patrolling, and surveillance missions, and as a complement to the air defense system. But from the beginning of the program, no major news was given, just some photos. That changed at the end of October 2022, during the national defense exercise carried out at the Santa Gertrudis National Training Center. In that event, the Mexican Air Force used for squadrons of T-6C Texan II aircraft, in live fire exercises with rockets and machine guns, being the first major live demonstration of the destructive power of these renewed aircraft. At the moment it is known that six planes were armed with LAU-68 rocket launchers, which use FFAR folding fin unguided rockets, also known as MK-4. They are commonly used by U.S. military aircraft as an air-to-air -air weapon, with greater range and effectiveness than machine guns and automatic cannons when it comes to intercepting and shooting down enemy bombers. Over time it was also modified for use as a rocket motor for air-to-surface weapons. The original FFAR MK-4 was developed in the late 1940s, was approximately 1.2 meters long and weighed 8.4 kilograms, with a high explosive compound warhead of approximately 2.7 kilograms. It also had four fins that opened at launch to stabilize the rocket by rotating movement. Its maximum effective range was approximately 3,400 meters. Due to its low initial accuracy, it was generally fired in bursts, so some planes carried as many as 104 rockets. In addition to that launcher, seven other units of the T-6C Texan II were equipped with two FN Herstal HMP-250 pods, with an FN M3P.50 caliber cannon for air-to-ground missions. It's exactly the kind of firepower you need when the mission involves destroying a narco-bunker or blanketing an area to avoid enemy fire. 
The FNM-3P is a machine gun with a high rate of fire, capable of remote fire and specially designed for use in aircraft, land vehicles and boats, with a maximum range of 1,850 meters. The FNM-3P can be used to destroy lightly armored vehicles and even small aircraft. The total length of this machine gun is 180 millimeters, of which 91 correspond to the barrel. It has a total weight of 37 kilograms, and its body is made of solid steel, like the barrel, which, according to the producing company, has a useful life of 10,000 shots. Finally, to avoid excessive recoil and improve effectiveness, it has a vibration reduction system. Some T6CS were also fitted with Dillon Aeropods, which carry 7.62 caliber M134 minigun machine guns, mounted under the wings of the aircraft. The Dillon Aero Gun Pod is an M134DH self-contained weapon system that mounts to the aircraft via Texan two hardpoints. Each empty container weighs 73 and a half kilos and up to 158 kilos already loaded with the 3000 bail belt. The system is electrically powered with two 24-volt batteries each, and the assembly allows remote-controlled firing and has a warning system so that the pilot knows when the container has at least 100 cartridges left. In addition, the Sedina has indicated that the containers, being certified by the manufacturer of the T-6C aircraft, guarantee their use without affecting the structure of the aircraft. The M134 minigun is a six-barreled rotary machine gun with a very high rate of fire that can reach 2,000 rounds per minute. It measures 800 millimeters long, with 558 millimeter extension barrels. In total, it weighs between 39 and 19 kilos depending on its configuration. The M134 is a Gatling-type gun, so it needs an external motor to provide the necessary energy for the barrels to rotate. It is a sort of scaled-down version of the legendary M61 Vulcan 20mm rotary machine gun. While it doesn't even come close to that destructive power, the minigun is a powerful tool that provides a large volume of continuous fire. The incorporation of the structures to carry aerial and ground fire systems provides the Texans of the Mexican Air Force with a higher level of operability in a critical context of the war against drug trafficking. Criminals are increasing and improving their arsenal every day, so law enforcement must keep up with that growth. In 2017, the Mexican Air Force began the gradual withdrawal of what was the institution's largest tactical aircraft, the Pilatus PC-7, so it was essential to give the Texan to a new life. Mexico faces the challenge of improving its air force with limited resources, and having a powerful and unscrupulous internal enemy, the narco-cartels. The Texan II gunships will be an invaluable piece of this arsenal, not only to fight crime, but also to guarantee air sovereignty. If you are interested in learning more about the Mexican arsenal, leave us your suggestion in the comment box below. Thanks for joining us, and stay tuned for the next military aviation video.